let's jump into our list of entrepreneurs that became rich without college. David Green, best known for founding Hobby Lobby. Net worth, $14.1 billion. In 1970, while working as a store manager, Green took out a $600 loan and started a business assembling and selling miniature picture frames. What started in his garage evolved into a small 300 square foot arts and crafts store in Oklahoma City called Hobby Lobby. A few years later, he would open a much larger 6,000 square foot location. Huge. 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 Jan Wenner, best known for co-founding Rolling Stone magazine. Net worth, $700 million. Jan attended University of California, Berkeley for a few years before dropping out. He was active in the free speech movement and would produce columns in student-run newspapers before connecting with Ralph Gleason. In 1967, Wenner borrowed $7,500 from family members and then with Gleason, they founded Rolling Stone magazine. Let's join forces. Justin Roiland, best known for co-creating Rick and Morty. Net worth, $4 million. After high school, Justin attended Modesto Junior College in California, but dropped out. He would pay his dues by making and acting in numerous movie shorts, then working his way into small parts in TV series such as VH1's Acceptable TV and the Sarah Silverman program on Comedy Central. This hard work would pay off in 2012 when Dan Harmon would approach Justin to help produce a new series for Adult Swim, and Rick and Morty was born. I'm Pickle Rick! Melanie Perkins, best known for co-founding Canva. Net worth, $6.5 billion. By age 14, Melanie had started her first business, selling handmade scarves at shops and markets. She credits this experience with developing her entrepreneurial drive as she never forgot the freedom and excitement from building a business. I love making business decisions. Ted Arison, best known for founding Carnival Cruise Lines. Net worth, $5.6 billion. Ted fought in World War II in the Jewish Brigade of the British Army and then served as an officer in the Israeli Defense Forces during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. From 1946 to 1951, he then managed a shipping company. These experiences helped prepare him for building the business of Carnival Cruise Lines. Tom Monaghan, best known for founding Domino's Pizza, net worth $500 million. Tom enrolled at the University of Michigan with intentions to become an architect. While still a student, he and his brother borrowed $900 to purchase a small pizza store. He started the pizza business to help pay his way through school, but would eventually drop out of college to continue to grow the pizza business into what we now know today as Domino's Pizza. Pizza dude's got 30 seconds. Pizza! Richard Branson, best known for Virgin Group. Net worth, $3.7 billion. Richard expressed his desire to become an entrepreneur at a young age. His first business venture was at the age of 16 with a magazine called Student. Richard had dyslexia, which contributed to a poor academic performance throughout school. On his last day of school, his headmaster told him he would either end up in prison or become a millionaire. His headmaster clearly had the right idea, but sold him short by a few billion dollars. Hundred billion dollars. Think that's impressive? Subscribe to hear more about entrepreneurs that became rich without college.